Hello, this is Kent Mahaffey, and this is another segment of Clinical Research Corner. Today I'm delighted to have Glenn Chertow, Professor of Medicine and Chief of the Division of Nephrology in the Department of Medicine. Welcome, Glenn. Thank you, Kent. Well, as you well know, Glenn, one of the big draws for me coming here was to be able to work with people like you who had done a lot of cl great clinical research over the years, so it's actually great to be able to now interview you <laughs> instead of you interviewing me. A lot of great things happening in the department and in nephrology. Can you give our audience a sense of what are some of the key projects you see yourself doing or your faculty? Sure. Well, I think uh, for a relatively small division, uh, we have a very broad base of clinical research. Um, a number of faculty members engaged in a number of types of clinical research efforts. Um, <clears throat> I would say that they range in terms of theme and they also range in terms of type, types of research. So um, we have quite a bit of research ongoing in chronic kidney disease, quite a bit of research going on in kidney transplantation, and, um, and quite a bit uh, related to the care and management of patients on dialysis. And we're soon venturing into additional research uh, in hospitalized patients with acute kidney disease. By way of example, we have some fantastic um, established and young faculty doing really terrific work. Uh, for example, Manjula Corella Tamura is a co-PI of one of the United States Renal Data Systems Special Study Centers focus, focusing on, um, on end-of-life care and palliative medicine in kidney disease. Mm -hmm and um, she is also working with me on a clinical trial uh, known as SPRINT or the Systolic Blood Pressure Intervention Trial which is a seven year long clinical trial testing uh, the safety and efficacy of different blood pressure targets. Okay. Um, among our other faculty, Tara Chang is also very actively working with us in SPRINT and doing some terrific um, clinical epidemiology, health services research, and pharmacoepidemiology in the intersection between cardiovascular disease and chronic kidney disease, a topic we both are you know, quite committed to. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> another of our young faculty members, Kevin Erickson, is an expert in health economics and has been studying physician behavior as it relates to the care of patients in the complex world of dialysis and he's embarking on a series of new studies in conjunction with faculty members in PCOR in primary care and outcomes research, uh, looking at the effect of changes in industry consolidation on outcomes among patients on dialysis. Another one of our young faculty members, Tammy Searich, is working with one of our senior faculty members, Timothy Meyer, trying to uh, identify and study the importance of uremic toxins. So as you know, we've been, we've been employing dialysis for 50 years, but not quite really understanding what we're removing or what the molecules are that are contributing right. to why patients don't feel well. Tammy and Tim together are doing some wonderful work in collaboration with uh, investigators in the Department of Chemical Engineering at the university. What an incredible portfolio, not, with it, not only within nephrology and cardiovascular disease, but also a number of collaborators across the department and it other institutes. It's even broader, if, yep. you, if you can imagine. Yeah. But another of our young faculty members, uh, Shuchi Anand, is working with uh, Dr. Cullen, whom you may interview a, a distinguished occupational health expert, mm -hmm. and his spouse, Dr. Barry, are Senior Associate Dean for Global Health, uh, studying global health and kidney disease. And Shuchi's working on a very exciting collaboration with uh, Professor Fire from the Department of Genetics and Pathology and other scientists at the university studying a new or newly recognized kidney disease that's been prevalent in Sri Lanka and uh, certain parts of Central and South America. So. We are doing a broad range of clinical research activities. So within that framework, there must be great opportunities for interns and residents and fellows to engage in clinical research. 
how can they get involved if they have an interest in any of those topics? Because you and I are both passionate about training that next generation of clinical researchers. That's right. And um, we, we have had in the past, and we would love to have residents uh, and students working with us uh, in research. As you know, the clinical trials are often multi-year projects, mm -hmm. and they're, those are a bit more difficult for students or residents to engage in. But even then, participating in, in study design discussions, in recruitment efforts, in evaluation of patients on clinical trials can be a terrific educational experience. And we have a tremendous uh, wealth of, of data to work with, right. particularly the United States Renal Data System, which we have um, on site. Uh, and we have uh, several very skilled PhD and master's level biostatisticians with whom we work um, answering, asking and answering questions about uh, health conditions and health systems as well as different treatment patterns and, uh, and outcomes among patients on dialysis and, and following kidney transplantation. So those are the types of projects which a resident, after discussing with one of our faculty, might be intrigued by an idea, and we actually do have the capacity to, to answer those questions, identify the right data source, and find a circumscribed project that could be completed in a couple of months. Well, that's terrific, because so many interns and residents who want to go into an academic career need that kind of access to data, and it doesn't necessarily be, need to be interns or residents who want to go into nephrology. It could be in other disease states, but they're learning the research process. Would you agree? I would agree, but you know, they should go into nephrology. <laughs> <laughs> or cardiology. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> no, exactly right. Glenn, thanks so much for coming and sharing what's going on in the Division of Nephrology. It's been terrific having you. Thanks. Well, we're lucky to have you and consider yourself part of our division. Oh, thank you so much. Thank and thanks you to you for uh, listening um, and watching another segment of Clinical <laughs> Research Corner. Thanks. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.